The answers with the England coach shopping for his preferred 4-4-2. The back line of Neville, Gary Neville that is, Campbell, Ferdinand and Cole surely needs to be a lot more solid than the various combinations that appeared so disjointed against Holland in the recent friendly. Veteran goalkeeper David Seaman didn't feature in that game, but is back in this evening as Ericsson's number one. A game high on nationalist fervour, as history has emphasised so dramatically down the years. Now the atmosphere has got to Ericsson in one way. If we win, he says, I shall feel English. 36 years since England and the Sir Alf Ramsey last beat the Germans at home. The old West Germany, as it was then, of course, back in 1965. One year before England's finest hour, that momentous confrontation with their arch-rivals in the World Cup final at Wembley. So, here we go. Germany kicking from left to right in the darker tops. Their path has been mainly smooth in the qualifying group so far. Five wins and just a one draw away to Finland. And beating England at Wembley confirmed the progress they have been making under Voller without pulling up too many trees. Now they're on the brink of qualifying as they always expect to do. Just a shoehorn now to ease them through. A draw will surely be enough to see off England's challenge. This is Christian Vaughan's from Borussia Dortmund. Out comes Sol Campbell. Now Beckham. A lot of anxious eyes looking on from the bench, I'm sure, with that first touch of the ball for Beckham. He's had this, what seemed to be a very serious groin injury, and at, certainly at one stage on Sunday, after he had sustained the problem, he himself was saying, well, I've got no chance of playing. But they worked a minor miracle with him to enable him to be fit to lead out his country tonight. And boy, do they need him. Michael Owen, who's been so sharp, Dazzlingly so for Liverpool, who of course beat Bayern Munich 3-2 in the European Super Cup. Owen and Heskey terrorised the Bayern defence and they'll be hoping to do the same thing tonight to the German national team's defence. Jörg Burma will be looking to contain Beckham down the England right. Five here is Novotny. He'll be the spare man. He may well be dropping deep to... Uh, pick up Owens runs Jakob the giant number nine for Germany tennis Deisler he'll be a key figure for them playing in the hole just behind the front two in the absence of Mehmet Scholl it's a different role for him such a big talent and Ericsson very very aware and wary of what he might do to Campbell at go Michael Balak from Bayer Leverkusen taking the throw towards Deisler. Gary Neville preferred to brother Phil in the right back slot. As Ericsson stands by his 4 4 2 formation, which certainly served him well in the opening matches. They won the first five, of course, under the new coach before the setback against Holland. And neither coach here is attaching too much relevance to that. It was a friendly. Deisler trying to turn, scores. And it was a trip by the England man. So the first examination of England's defensive shape and qualities tonight. Their organisation. Ferdinand and Campbell in the heart of that back line. Well, it was an early scare, and it was Campbell to the rescue for England. Campbell, who, of course, had a fairly lengthy spell out from around March, April time, through injury. Ericsson will want him at his sharpest this evening. Didn't play against Holland. York Burma taking this corner kick. Very dangerous on his left foot. Yetka pretty lethal in the air. Here's Burma's corner. And too deep for Rema at the far post. Burma, who's a fairly newcomer 
pretty much a newcomer under Rudy Voller. But how Voller has turned things around for Germany. Only two losses in their last 12 games. And the big win, of course, against England at Wembley. To close down the old stadium. When Hamam got the winning goal. Here's Gerrard. Aiming for Nick Barbie, who's got the vote down the left side for England, this problem position, as we all keep calling it. In ahead of Steve McManaman. And they have been taught that Heskey might have played there with Fowler up front, but Ericsson has gone for Barbie in his industry. He was there to provide cover for young Ashley Cole as much as getting forward for England. Campbell coolly played away to Gerrard. Yet another very, very important player, Stephen Gerrard, for England, with his drive through the midfield. Up comes Vaughan's on a run. Deisler with Yacker. Neuville ahead of him. But it's broken down, disappointingly, for the Germans. Stephen Gerrard. Really has made fantastic progress up at Liverpool under Gerard Houllier. And certainly he's been a lucky omen for England so far, yet to appear on the losing side in any game he's finished. On by Novotny to Linker. Now Balak. Six here is Haban. Man of the match at Wembley. When England were beaten. On by Neuville towards Yanker! It's a cracking start for Germany. Carsten Janke of Bayern Munich. Well, he's come in for some pretty heavy stick, I would have to say, in the media this week. That's his response. You may remember his howlers, his misses, in Euro 2000 when England beat Germany. Well, not this time. England were opened up far too easily here. Little Neuville. In goes Yanka, nobody's picked him up. And on six minutes, Germany go in front. Ferdinand was rock-footed, and there was no cover there as Yanka came in to prod it home. Kind of finishing, Voller himself would have been proud of. He certainly has his critics cast in Yanka, but that's a very, very positive reply by him. His sixth international goal. On by Gerrard. Scholes now darting forward and Reimer had Cattell his run. But Carsten Janker has again proved his point. He's not even a, a fixture for Bayern Munich. Not a regular in their team. But certainly, Avola has shown faith in him, and this is why. But just look at the space he's got here. England was so static defending. And Sven Goran Eriksson will be very, very unhappy with the way that his team endeavoured to counter that thrust by Germany. Here's Cole now of Arsenal. Paul Scholes. Looking to link between midfield and attack, but he won't do it that way. Up comes Boomer. Now Raymer. Christian Vaughan, back in favour these days. Having been exiled for a while after the World Cup finals in France back in 98. He was sent off against Croatia, I remember, as Germany went out. Oliver Kahn not called upon as yet in that Germany goal. The home team off to a flyer. Oh, Neuville, flags up, flags up. And I think he'd seen it too. As Seaman came out then to thwart the danger, the flag was up anyway. But he's very, very quick. Really can accelerate. Oliver Neuville. Oh, by a Leverkusen. He was only just off then. A worrying start by England, but here's Beckham now. Trying to get his team back in the game. Oh! Having to use his feet then to scramble it away. 
Dangerous ball swung in by Beckham. Here's Yanko, the goal scorer. Neuville waiting for support, and he's found it through Balak. Now Reba. Haman. Confident start here by Germany. Remember, I've only ever lost one World Cup qualifying game. Some good link-up play here, Balak. England stepping up, looking for offside. And Kalina has indeed granted their wish. Not since 1973 against Yugoslavia have Germany lost a game here. It really is an awesome task facing England. And they have to win, remember, to keep themselves in contention for that automatic place from this group. Germany on 16 points, England on 10. And Janka's goal has made it very difficult for the England team. Next up, they take on Albania at Newcastle. That's on Wednesday, and they also still have Greece to play at Old Trafford. Yakka gets threatening through the middle. And in the end, he was leaning into uh, Rio Ferdinand. A little spat between the two. He will ruffle a few feathers tonight, Karsten Yakka. Wasn't too happy at being reminded this week on one or two occasions. He was once rejected by Luton Town. Ashley Cole. Now Bambi. And Gerard. Now England missed him against Holland. And the lightning pace of Michael Owen was causing problems there. Not the start that Ericsson was hoping for. In this frenetic atmosphere. There's Deisler clashing with Michael Owen. Now here's a chance set for David Beckham. Kept it in well too. Off goes Gerard in pursuit. Now Gary Neville. Is there a flag? No! And it's swept in by Owen! England back on level terms. Pretty woeful defending by England and now by Germany as well. And Michael Owen continues his fantastic run of goal scoring form. They lost their organisation, their concentration completely. The Germans here. Great jump by Sol Campbell. And look how slowly they've come out, the Germans. I think it was Raymer who has played them on. Although it looked a very, very tight decision. Kant was nowhere. Not that he had too much help. And Owen, well, as ever, the predator in the penalty box. He said outside. Germany won, England won. With 12 minutes gone. It's thrilling stuff in Munich. Cole for England. Well, Owen says every time he's in front of goal now, he feels he's going to score, and you can see why. It's Beckham's lock ball towards Heskey. Such a muscular presence alongside Michael Owen, but outmaneuvered by Bournes. Hammer. Now, that was coolly done. Raymer's on his way now. And a pretty dreadful challenge by Ashley Cole. Well, maybe uh, Kalina thought it was a mite theatrical, the uh, reaction by Ray Mother. To me, that looked an awful challenge by Cole. Well, here's Cole sliding in. The ball's not past him. 
That was very painful for Marco Reimer. No further action taken by Kalina. He is certainly known as a disciplinarian. Well, it's a coming out here, the German. It is Reimer's the back man. He's, he's pretty slow there. But as it's played through, were they offside? A whole bunch of England players. Well, Owen wasn't going to hang around. Just steered it in for his 11th goal for England. And it's a crucial one to, to bring themselves back into this game. Owen, who's already got seven for Liverpool this season. And that on the back of his flurry at the back end of the last campaign. He's back showing the kind of form that won him instant fame at France 98, of course. With his one the goal against Argentina. He's had his problems since then, but now he's back looking the Owen of old, if you can call him old at 21. Yanke for Germany. Well then to keep it in. Here's Deisler. Out comes, off comes Cole. Good pace shown by him too. Such a high tempo at the start of this international, on which so much is riding. And what is the legal challenge this time? Raver still struggling to return. Michael Owen. Heskey waits in the middle. This is Beckham. Looking to service Heskey. And that was short. Imagine the back of Owen. No question, Thomas Licker, who had a torrid time against Heskey and Owen in the European Super Cup game. No question there that he was the guilty party. Part who was left stranded for the England equaliser. One of the world's best goalkeepers, of course, on in the car. And he'll know all about David Beckham. No sign so far of Beckham being troubled by that injury, which has caused so much concern throughout the week. Here's Beckham now. And how close was that? It almost shaved the post. Real curl on that. Not Khan, I think, will clearly had it covered. Just the wrong side of the post. Slightly further away than I thought at first. But near enough to concern Khan and his fellow German defenders. Here's Jacke. Now Hammer probing for Germany. It goes cold. And it spins away from Neuville into the grateful arms of David Seaman. Still England's number one as he approaches his 38th birthday. And the Germans have been singling him out as a potential weak link for England tonight. England well supported by several thousand fans. Sadly, there have been a few incidents uh, in the build-up to the game in the city. But hopefully they can all keep things under control for the match itself. Chance started in sizzling fashion. Here's Owen. Almost fell down for Scholes. He really is on fire at the moment. Michael Owen. Gerard. Well, that's good play too. Now it's Neville. The chance to cross. Just too deep for Barnby. Heskey, I think, felt he was being pulled there. He's so strong, Emil Heskey. They would have done well to have pulled him down. Well, he saw nothing wrong. And there was the target, and it did seem that way. I think it's Vaughan who was struggling uh, to stay with Heskey. Yakka posing similar problems at the other end for Ferdinand. Now by Campbell. Not very effectively, though, that was Balak looking for the run of Burma. So, too, was Beckham, but it's still Burma for Germany. And that's gone behind, out of play for an England goal kick. 
But the pace so far, pretty much uh, unrelenting. Rudy Voller, a great striker himself in his day. He certainly has revived German spirits since taking over. Bambi to Scholes. Here's Beckham and Michael Owen. He won't be afraid to just drop a little deeper. Leaving Heskey up front. Wonderful atmosphere in Munich. As the two old rivals meet again. Bella. Straight to Scholes. One by Becker to Owen. Heskey lurking in the middle. Gerard had made a run too. And it's well claimed by Kerr. Germany's player of the year. And UEFA's goalkeeper of the year. Ferdinand, who has his hands full with cast at Yanka. Here's Deisler. Hamad put it on to Yanka. Ferdinand with a boot in. Now it's Beckham. Too heavy, though, for Heskey. Beckham leading England out again so proudly tonight. His 44th cap. Got a few goals lately, too. Another one would not go amiss now as England look to build on this comeback. Horns away from Bambi. Bomber. He's from the Schalke club that did so well last season in the Bundesliga, finishing runners up. This is Novotny. Now Vaughan's. There's movement up front from Yakka. He had Kat, although for company, but still plowed his way through. Neubel, another chance. Oh, what a miss from Deisler. He just seemed to be caught off balance there at the last moment. But England, yet again, defensively, were in disarray. The flag stayed down, but the chance has gone. Deisler, of all people, normally so sure-footed. It's a real let off for England. In goes Owen now. Might have got clear. Cuts Khan. Well, was he impeded then? Kalina either thought not or allowed him the advantage. He didn't take it up. Thanks to the alertness there of Khan. He came hearing out to close him down. They had a couple of one on ones in that European Super Cup. Owen did score, but Khan saved on the other occasion. It's 2 1 now to Carr. Here's Beckham. Carr stayed at home. And it came off Yakka for an England corner. An absorbing struggle at Munich. On as even so far. Chances at both ends. It's one apiece. Halfway through the first half. Neville for England. In goes Scholes with Ashley Cole, who had a pretty torrid time, in truth, against the Dutch. Got a roasting from Zenden, the new Chelsea player. Seaman not in goal for England on that occasion. Is Raymond out, policing Heskey. Problem for Thomas Licker. He does appear to be in some distress. The Bayern Munich defender. It's okay. Pretty much a fixture for Germany. As he is for his club side. Beckham. England's talismanic leader. How's that for a ball to Michael Owen? 
razor sharp again. Not quite the finish he was looking for. But he, well, while waiting on the shoulder of the defender, just left him for dead there. Now, well, not on target from Michael Owen, but again, some pressure on the Germans. We've got another problem too, as Linker clearly is winded. Any question of a head injury and the referee will stop play. 31 now, Thomas Linker. You're playing England, they said, and it's 1-1. I don't think he knows quite where he is at the moment. So maybe some reorganising for Germany to do if he can't continue. The Germans, remember, really only need a draw. England have to win. Fifty-fifty was Bala's assessment pre-match. England, he says, are always capable of beating us, as we are of them. Neville. England seeking revenge for defeat at Wembley. The loss, of course, had ended Kevin Keegan's reign as coach. Well, they patched him up, and he seems to be okay now, Linker. Beckham to Owen. Now Gerard. England's midfield Lynchpin, and he's released Ashley Cole. He might go all the way here. Bambi just couldn't work it on though to Heskey, and maybe a chance to then by Cole. But here's Campbell. England's confidence is growing. Beckham, a big influence already. And Nico there was too tight on Heskey. He didn't feel a thing. Here's Cole. He has some room here too. Not that he did too much with it. Well, it was a reminder to him, the game against Holland, that he's got a long way to go yet for all the uh, progress that he's made. From Arsenal reserves to England regular in such a short space of time. But Zenden reminded him that international football can't be a very difficult exercise from time to time. It certainly is tonight. A very demanding game this one will be for all those concerned. And everyone watching too, I would think. These pictures being beamed around the world. Ashley Cole. Now Nick Barnby. Looking for his Liverpool teammate, Michael Owen. And there was a little bit of tugging there by Owen. That seems so fresh this season. He had a break in the summer for the first time in several years, Owen. And it really is showing. Along with Beckham, just about the first name on the team sheet, I would think, at the moment, Michael Owen. Foul by Yaka on Ferdinand. Now Cole, Yaka was after him. This is Paul Scholes. To Campbell and then Gerard. Mercifully injury free at the moment. Good ball too towards Heskey. And that was an important header away by Raymer. Deisler, not sure that he's seen Owen there, and that surely is a back pass, it had to be. A real lapsing concentration, not only by the goalkeeper, but by uh, Deisler as well in playing it back. And here's a big opportunity then for England. What on earth was Deisler thinking of here? 
Owen quick to react. And of course it was a back pass. Yaka back on the goal line with his teammates. David Beckham will take charge here. Skulls over the ball. Neville on the scene for the moment, but it will be Beckham. It's Gerrard behind Beckham. Kalina is ready. Here is Beckham. Very painful for the man on the line as it fired over the top by Neville. Raymer, I think, may well have taken that in the midriff. It was really travelling here. The shot from Beckham. Watch the man there on the edge of the wall, Raymer. He went down like a sack of potatoes. Oof. I felt that one from here. Back up close to giving England the lead. But now Ericsson's team on the back foot. Nigo. Here's Bambi back helping out against Dysler, who just clipped his heels. It has certainly been an eventful game so far. Two goals and plenty of talking points. Yanka giving Germany the lead on seven minutes. Owen replying though for England just six minutes later. Half an hour gone. That was Bambi's header. Well read though by Linka. Not by Hannah de Bella. And then Bomber. Poor delivery though by him. Barbie, Owen again, threatening to exploit any defensive frailty with his blistering pace. Hammer. Eski was tied on him. It's just Owen left up front at the moment. Once. Devorts again. In comes Paul Scholes. And the England fans think like what they've seen so far, apart from some of England's defending. Barmby. But as an attacking force, England have looked dangerous. Christian Vaughan to Novotny. Novotny himself has only just come back from injury. Here's Neuville. Of all the strikers in the German party, he's the only one who's a first choice at the moment for his club team. In his case, by Leverkusen. Well, they're off to such an excellent start, Germany, but they haven't managed to build on that thanks to England's strong revival. Really positive riposte from Ericsson's team. Neuville. Now Reba. A little combination, but Balak didn't come off. Balak, who's playing with a broken toe, incidentally. Now Beckham. And chasing back here, too. Look at his work rate, Beckham. Stopping Bomer in his tracks. Hammer. Directing operations in the heart of the midfield for Germany. Against his Liverpool teammate, of course, Steven Gerrard. You might remember they clashed in uh, Chalwa in Euro 2000 and Gerard accused him of squealing. This is Balak, attacked with a broken toe, and uh, it is certainly more or less healed now. 
Ashley Cole. Hit long for Heskey. Now Hamad. Again, the Liverpool connection as Barbie challenged him. Here's Hamad. Played in for Yaka. Hamad again. Brought down surely by Gerard. And maybe he did squeal then, Hamad, but he had every right to. It was a late challenge from his Anfield teammate. Seaman hoping he won't be get, getting caught out again, as he was by Hamad at Wembley. With that quickly taken free kick. And there was, of course, another one in the Leeds game recently when Ian Hart found him wanting. Goma could be the man here. He's got a really strong left foot. Balak can hit them too. England getting themselves organised. Here is Bomber. And the ricochet means a corner. He really can't strike these free kicks, Bomber. Scored against Hungary in their recent win in the friendly. When they got five. Nibiu. Away by Beckham. Only as far as Puma. Might have another go from here. Let it fly. And Seaman right behind it. Good work from the England keeper. Winning tonight is 66th cap. Nigel Martin is the reserve on the bench. Now Cole taking on Raymer. Good pace here from Cole. Couldn't quite pull it back though, that was Novotny. In goes Scholes, but Hamann had the measure of him. The counter raid here from Germany. Yakas through the middle. Uh, good work though by Barbie. That's why he's in the team. I'm sure Gerard will have many a confrontation tonight with Dietmar Hamat in the heat of the skirmish. Raymond's throw, dealt with by Cole. Now Ebel Heskey in ahead of Fowler and Andy Cole tonight for England. We have the free kick. <laughs> Conceded by Yanka and Gerard just waving him away. Two very competitive, combative players. Gary Neville. Heskey in had Barbie behind him and Owen here. Heskey is far post, looking to attack. Terrific header away though by Christian Vaughan. He did exceptionally well there, the German defender. Neville. He must have had one eye on Heskey Vaughan. Now Cole, Heskey's in there lurking once more. Sort that one out. It won't be a back pass, but Cart was in trouble. No, he took a buffeting there. But he won't thank his teammate for that. Hey, hey. Terrible miscue. Barbie did leave with his arm on the German goalkeeper. who played in Ericsson's first game in charge and scored the first goal of his reign. One or two injury problems since then, but he's been back in the frame. And in from the start this evening. Ericsson hoping he's got the balance right. Ferdinand. Now Beckham. Always looking for the opening. Looking there for Michael Owen. Linker. Germans were saying before, and they won't necessarily rely on one defender to stop Owen. They might need more than that, they might need cover. Bella. A Raymer. Up steps Vaughan, Raymer again. Into the return pass as well. Yanko pulled away to the far post to join Neuville. England this time standing firm. 
Ferdinand did miss some of the pre-season training because of injury, so maybe not at his sharpest. Gradually gaining full fitness through his appearances for Leeds. Burma with the corner. Back to help out was Emil Heskey. The ones who just a few minutes ago denied Heskey at the other end. With his sound defending. Burma now looking to test England again. Without question, there have been times tonight when England have not defended with enough conviction. More work for Seaman and Co here. Dysler this time, but floated in. Was Jacker looking for the knock-off? It's scrambled behind yet again. England with their backs to the wall here, with five minutes of the first half to go. All square in the Olympic Stadium in Munich. Dysler with Germany's corner again. Out by Campbell this time, only as far as Burma. England won't want him too near the goal. Not with his shooting ability. Novotny. Oh, good turn! Right heel. Again, England weren't really tight on him. Spun so quickly. Shades of Voller himself. One of the great strikers of all time, Rudy Voller. He was pretty nimble there, Oliver Neuville. He's only got the one goal for his country. It's his 27th appearance tonight. Actually, to be more of a winger, really, in the past. But now asked to accompany Yaka down the middle. Some repairs needed here for Heskey. It's not easy to knock him over. Flashing here with Novotny. By a Leverkusen defender. Bremer, who was winded earlier on. Only Portugal, way back in 1985 have beaten Germany in a World Cup qualifier. Can England add to that tally this evening? And the front running of Heskey and Owen suggests they have every chance. If they can themselves keep it tight enough defensively. Certainly the Germans are threatened on a good few occasions. Vaughan's. Good running again by Neuville. Campbell with it. He did well enough. Appealed by Cole. And it hadn't gone out. Now it has for a German throw. Taken by Raymo. Had a short spell at Arsenal on trial. We will see back, but nothing came of it. Ballack. Neuville. He's been a menace up front, as Neuville. Now Deisler. Raymond made the run down to the right. Barbie's come tracking back. Deisler now. Hoping to catch out Schliemann. He made a bit of a fumble of it, in truth. Rather flapped at that, but he's got away with it. Oh, yeah. Now then to Scholes. As England look to move into another gear going forward. Gerard. that seem rather rudderless without him against the Dutch. Nick Barmby. Now, Ashley Cole, can he bend it in from here? Owen with Barmby. Germany keeping the door shut. And the boot was raised in on Raymond. I think by Barmby. 
scored in a 2-0 win for Hollis team away to Albania last time out in a World Cup qualifier. Just two defeats, remember, overall up the Vola. Whose son, incidentally, is a big hero, a big fan, rather, of his hero, David Beckham, no less. A few of those around the world. Mine was Bobby Charlton. I think he's retired now. Raymer. Here's Vaughan. Well run back for England by Scholes. And the current Manchester United stars, of course. Yakka now. Campbell at full stretch. It goes Burma. And that favoured left foot. Yakka. Does hold it up well. A snapshot. Brilliantly saved by Stephen. Did really well there to keep out the drive from Burma. After some lovely combination work with Carson Yanka. He does hold it up well, Yanka. Neatly then just laid off to Burma. Down goes Seaman. Didn't think he was going to get there for a moment. But he rolled back the ears there to pull off a stunning save. The Arsenal goalkeeper. That's a great stop. Dysler's corner. Here's Seaman again. Reassuring, commanding figure in the England penalty box as he needed to be on both occasions that's a foul on Beckham in first half stoppage time Beckham so often England's inspiration and well on the evidence we're seeing so far it does appear the injury is okay not troubling him too much only he will know that he was so desperate to play and Ericsson was prepared to gamble. As long as Beckham himself felt he wasn't going to break down. Dysler. Big wave got by referee Colina. Here's Bala. Yakra ahead of him. Beckham in the way. Good anticipation by the England captain. Heskey to Campbell. Heskey and Owen seem to be taking it in turns to drop deeper with the other left outfield. Here's Gerrard now. Scores in space, so too is Neville. Beckham off on a run. Sol Campbell. Now, of course, of Arsenal. Here's Ferdinand. Steven Gerrard. A little bit of possession here by England right at the end of the first half. The Germans just backing off. But now they might be stretched. Gary Neville played it towards Barkley. That was Novotny. Beckham. And it's missed time. The tackle, I think, from Novotny. As Beckham came charging forward. Just a hit there that the Germans might be reeling. Backing off from England. Just looking to soak it up with the sudden injection of pace by Neville initially. Threatened to undo them. Here's Beckham. Real danger now for Germany. Campbell's come up from the back. Beckham to try again, maybe. Clipped in towards Ferdinand. And then Gerard. Oh, what a go! What a strike from Steven Gerrard! Absolutely breathtaking! He never ceases to amaze you. It's another stupendous strike from Steven Gerrard. We've seen them for Liverpool, now we're seeing it for England. And almost on the stroke of half-time, England to the Euphoria, their traveling support, have gone in front. It seemed the chance had gone, but we reckon without the firepower here of Gerrard. Blistering drive by him into the corner beyond Oliver Kahn. And the celebrations are underway. A prodigious talent, this boy, as he is underlined there yet again. He is an awesome all-round talent. 
And finishing is a big, big part of his game. What a finale to the first half for David Beckham to England. Stephen Gerrard makes it 2 up after England had gone behind so early on. Carsten Yanker. The equaliser from Owen, and now this effort from Stephen Gerrard. The Germans might have felt there should have been a flag there, but it was whistling through so quickly. The flag stayed down, Khan couldn't get across. And England had the edge at half-time after an absorbing 45 minutes in Munich. Germany won, England two in this World Cup qualifier. Six here is Haban. Man of the match at Wembley. When England were beaten. On by Neuville towards Yanka! It's a cracking start for Germany. Carsten Yanka of Bayern Munich. Well, he's come in for some pretty heavy stick, I would have to say, in the media this week. That's his response. Checked it in well, too. Off goes Gerard in pursuit. Now Gary Neville. Is there a flag? No! And it's swept in by him! England back on level turns. Pretty woeful defending by England, and now by Germany as well. And Michael Owen continues his fantastic run of goal-scoring form. Flipped in towards Ferdinand, and then Gerrard! Oh, what a goal! What a strike from Steven Gerrard! Absolutely breathtaking! He never ceases to amaze you. It's another stupendous strike from Steven Gerrard. We've seen them for Liverpool, now we're seeing it for England. And almost on the stroke of half-time, England to the euphoria of their travelling support have gone in front. It seemed the chance had gone, but we reckon without the firepower here of Gerrard. Blistering drive by him to the corner beyond Oliver Kahn. And the celebrations are underway. Welcome back to the second half of tonight's World Cup qualifier in the Olympic Stadium in Munich. Germany trailing England by two goals to one. The Germans have made a change for this second half. Gerald Asamoa has come on in place of Christian Vaughan's. So they've brought on a midfield player for a defender. Not sure whether it is tactical or for an injury. But what is certain is that England are in the driving seat. Thanks to Steven Gerrard's first goal for his country. To add to the earlier one from Michael Owen after Carsten Janker had put Germany in front early on. Campbell's clearance. Not too many would have bet on England going ahead by half-time once they conceded that early goal. With all credit to the way they have come back and turned this round. Just to remind you once again, England have to win to stay in with a chance of finishing top of this group. Six points behind the Germans at the start of the game, but with a match in hand. Here is Asamoa from Schalke, they call him Blondie. Germany's first African-born international scored on his debut against Slovakia. Winning his fifth cap. Leski has been such a forceful presence up front for England. They are very well represented in the stadium tonight in terms of their support. And they're making plenty of noise. They might make some more now. Here's Owen. Pitched it away by Carr. Very unorthodox. But he's escaped. Asamoa now on the counter charge for the Germans. And Yanker's offside. Well, the Germans were very, very confident that they won't be needing the playoffs. So much so, they've provisionally booked alternative games 
in November at the time of the playoffs. They're hoping to go to Korea and to Thailand to play matches, leaving England to feature in that playoff game. Two games, in fact, against Belarus or the Ukraine. That's where it stands after the draw. Back up Jeda. A real feature of the first half was the poor defending of both teams. Down towards Owen! It's 3 1 for England. Can't put his hand to it, but no more than that. And Michael Owen has pounced again. Just three minutes into the second half. And they can hardly believe it, nor can he, I'm sure. Almost the hint of a smile from Sven Goran Eriksson. Excellent work by Beckham. But look how two defenders there were sucked in by the cross. Heskey's header down. And it was stopped in by Owen by the hand of the goalkeeper. Dream start to the second period for England. Who would have thought it? Great climb here by Heskey. But Volo will be tearing his hair out and his team's defending. They were all over the place. And Michael Owen has capitalised on it. The master goal poacher. Take it in. Germany 1, England 3. Here's Owen again. And Germany are in big trouble. And those plans for the playoff dates are looking somewhat premature at the moment. Beckham. England play Albania in midweek. If they do win tonight and win that one, the teams are level on points. With one game each to play, Germany take on Finland at home. And England are at home, and that will be Old Trafford against Greece in their final match. So there really will be everything to play for. England can do it. Here's Gary Neville. Towards Heskey. Now Ballack. Beckham. Just too heavy though this time for Heskey. And down to Asamoah. Yaka as Cole nipping in. The Germans do have Oliver Bierhoff on the bench. We may see him pretty soon. All the best laid plans of Rudy Voller have been torn apart here by England's terrific start to the second half. Raymer on to Deisler. Raymer again to bend at his cross. Yanker lurking in the middle with Ferdinand, who kept his composure but just fell to the ground there. Was there contact from Yanker? I must have been, I didn't really see any. Killing the saying to the German players, what can I do? Well, Yanker has gone across there, so maybe there was some kind of contact. When a player goes down like this, the referee has no alternative. Now, did he just catch it there? I think he did, as the ball was played away. I think he's given uh, the decision to England. Ferdinand should be OK. And they certainly need him back there. I'm in charge. It's going to be a drop ball. I don't think he saw any offence, nor did his assistant. And if you don't see one, you can't give it. Asamoah for Germany. Who have it all to do now. Against a rampant England. So revitalised under Sven-Goran Eriksson. 
They've come here to do a job and they're doing it pretty well at the moment. They believe they can win this game. And that belief is looking good for them. They have played in such a positive manner, England, and they had their reward so far. But here is Haman now. The man whose goal shattered their hopes at Wembley. Asamoah sent tumbling down by Cole. And that's not his first bad tackle of the evening either. Changing opinions with Yanka. Completely mistimed by Cole on Asamoah. Linker. It's Balak. And it's no danger to David Seaman's goal. Well, Sven Goran Eriksson knows all about German overconfidence. He has at home a flag, a Hamburg flag, from the time nearly 20 years ago when his Gothenburg team, virtual no-hopers apparently, overcame Hamburg to win the UEFA Cup. And the flag said, Hamburg UEFA Cup winners, 1982. A little premature, as it turned out. Bomber tangling with Beckham. He tried to fend him off and just pulled his arms away in time, I think. Otherwise, he could have been in trouble with Kalina. Now the tackles are flying in. Heskey on Hammer. A caution for the Liverpool man after his assault on his clubmate. I'll make that the first caution of the evening. Raymer. Here's Novotny. The England fans in great voice, and no wonder. Novotny is kept going, but Neville was in the way. Then Beckham. The gamble to include him has certainly been justified, leading by his usual inspiration. Bella. Up comes Campbell, in goes Balak, Yaka, Neuville, Boba. That's uh, good work by uh, Rio Ferdinand. As uh, Germany seek the punch to bring them back in this game. Ten minutes into the second half, and they are further behind. Thanks to the predatory instincts of Michael Owen. Berber's corner. Swung back a long way. This Deisler. Here's Gerard. Score that fantastic goal just before half time. Ericsson had been sweating on his fitness in the lead up to the game. He's playing, he's playing brilliantly. Smuggled out by Heskey, but only to Burma. Straight at Cole, Burma again. Here's Beckham. England survive, and without too much discomfort there, in truth. On the brink now, England of causing a major upset in this group. Just think back to that defeat at Wembley. We were on our knees then. Not so now. Regrouped, reshaped and revived under Eriksson. Jens Novotny. Asamoa for Reimer. Still Reimer, then Karsten Yanka. And the shot was driven, but over the bar by Deisler. No test for David Seaman in that England goal. Heskey. Good strong challenge though by Novotny. As the Germans look to build again with Boma. 
As he spread the play, Asamoah now. Reva and Haman. This is Balak, some good movement here by Germany. Asamoah, he's got Yanker in the middle. Deisler's cross towards Yanker. And Balak over the top. Now Yanker there seemed to be in such a good position himself. Optic to lay it back when surely he should have got the goal. An easy game to play watching from the sidelines, but for my money here, this is a terrific chance for Yanker, who again has got between defenders, worryingly so. And only he knows why he did that. That's the reaction of Rudy Bollock. Who I know will be thinking, what was Carsten Yanker thinking? He's on his way again now. David Seaman getting the better of him. But very relieved, I'm sure, that Yanka didn't choose to head for goal just now. Lecke. All the attacking is coming from Germany. England just sitting back, soaking it up. But now with this two-goal cushion. Reimer again. Played in for Dietmar Hammer. And Bormer. Germany capped in the England half. Deisler to Burma. Look how many white shirts in the way, though. Here's Deisler. Lincoln. No way through for Germany. England keeping it tight. But are they tight enough? Burma. Again, there's the threat of Yanker in the middle. Good header away, though, by Cole. Asamoah. To Reva. Somebody back defending for England. Only Owen right upfield and Gerard can't find him. But always the threat of an England goal off the break. With the speed off the mark of Michael Owen. Bellat just couldn't force it through. Gerard with the interception. Now scores. He's had a quietish game really by his standards for England. But at the moment, it's all about defending and keeping the Germans at bay, protecting this 3-1 lead. And we're coming up now to an hour play. Deisler's layoff to Novotny. Now Hannah. Asamoa. Raymond. There's Yanker. And the referee it says he's the guilty party, and there's come some concern here about Carsten Yanka as he went to ground. The German fans don't like it. No real protest in fairness from Yanka himself. Not sure what he did wrong there. Maybe uh, there was a shove on Ferdinand. Hard to see really from the slow motion there. Little battle on Carsten Yanka. Now Neville. Out of favour at the moment for Manchester United, but certainly not for England. He's done some solid work. Free kick to England. Germany had only to draw the last two games. Defeat tonight for Wallace's team. Really will put the cat among the pigeons. They drop points in Helsinki to give England a lifeline, really. A chance to catch them. And England at the moment are accepting that chance with both hands. A really professional performance by Ericsson's team. He refused to panic after the defeat by Holland, and rightly so. Different ball game tonight. England are very much up for the battle. Novotny on to Bellic. He's got some room to manoeuvre in here. Look at Parma steaming away to his left. Yanka wants it far post. Still Burma. Disappointing cross through by him, but here's Hanan. Back from Germany again. 
Can England batten down the hatches here? Novotny on to Asamoah. They brought him on to bring them some width in this second half. And he might get away now, Asamoah. A step by Cole. Deisler. No, oh, he's just bent it too far. But smothering the pressure from Rudy Vano's team. That's Neville. So often the Germans were unsettled by these long diagonal balls, many of them supplied by Beckham, but not this time. Burma. Now Hamann. Asamoa. This is Reba. Balak. And then Yakka. Just trying to uh, bludgeon his way through, and Seaman was having none of it. And he has his critics these days, David Seaman. Some who say he's not the keeper he was, but Ericsson has stood by him. Very much his number one still. has come to England's rescue on a couple of occasions tonight. But he will never lift down the uh, free kick by Hamann, who's on the ball here now, from the Germany win at Wembley. England at the moment have very much turned the tables. I wonder what odds you could have got on England leading 3-1 early in the second half. Balak to Asamoa. Certainly Germany were the favourites to win tonight. A lot of people fancy a draw. Not too many, I'll wager, would have forecast England to be two goals clear at this stage. Now, okay. McManaman for Bomb. He has worked extremely hard, Nick Barby. So a current Liverpool player replaced by a former one in Steve McManaman. Now, of course, with Real Madrid. I think he could well have started on the right. McManaman had Beckham not made it tonight. He's got his shots now. Dies there to Yaka. Not far away. As he clashed there with Ferdinand. England Hart skipped a beat. That was an inviting ball in then by Deisler. And the presence of Ferdinand just about did enough then to deter Kirsten Jakob. Scorer of Germany's goal. Wiped out by Owens, who has scored again. Along with Gerard. Now it's Owen. But he can't get away from Novotny this time. Balak. Well, right back by Gerard. Great ball in for Owen. Another chance for Michael Owen. Unbelievable. Three goals for Michael Owen, and they lead Germany in Germany by four goals to one. Almost halfway through the second half. And Voller just simply cannot take this in. It all started here when Gerard regained possession for England through his determination. An inch-perfect pass in for Owen. And now, well, that's the kind of move, the kind of form that he is in. Absolutely lethal in front of goal, and it's Balak's last contribution. He's off, and Klos is on. Miroslav Klos from Kaiserslautern. The home crowd here at Munich, absolutely stunned. Miroslav Klos. His sixth cap. What a time to come on. With this deficit to make up. Well, all the possible scores that were discussed beforehand, I don't think this one came up too much. Incredible. 
England so buoyant now. And this man, well, as I said earlier on, every time he's in front of goal, he thinks he's going to score. You can, you can see why, but finishing like that. It's all about composure. And he has it in abundance. Deisler for a shattered German team. Hammer. Up by Reba. And surely now, without tapping feet, England are heading for an astonishing victory. Scholes to Ashley Cole. Gerard to Beckham. Superb tonight, the pair of them. Scholes, Beckham still working so hard. That was a late challenge there. Here's Campbell, just mopping things up with Ferdinand. England have got a player down. At least they did have. The Coles are up here, broken up by Novotny. But Germany have got to pieces. Owen has terrorised them. As in truth, they feared he might. The warning signs were there with Liverpool's win over Bayern Munich in the European Super Cup. And this is turning into one of England's greatest ever nights in international football. Oh, Janker got caught there. Up by Linker. Deisler to Hammer. Deisler. Dietmar Hamann again, trying to find an opening, but it's so hard with so many England players back defending. Burma. Now Novotny. Endeavouring to step up the tempo for Germany. Close. Boma. This is Sebastian Deisler. Fine anticipation though by Ferdinand reading that situation. Beerhoff struggling to believe what he's seeing out there. Former German captain. Oh, Seaman. He's across then very quickly as close and climbed high. That was pretty close. Use the pump. Got up well here. Not sure Seaman would have got across in time had that been on target. Got a couple of goals for his country, Miroslav Klaus. Boy, they need one from him now. Just to give them a hope. Just look at those jubilant England supporters here tonight. Let's hope they behave themselves too afterwards. If England do come through, there's plenty to celebrate, but there are ways of doing it. Asamoah now. Ramos continue to go steaming forward. Could be a chance for him here. No, Seaman out quickly. Asamoah. And out of harm's way from England's point of view. Rudy Voller has been saying he wants both England and Germany to qualify the World Cup without us both is not a fully fledged tournament he says but he wasn't reckoning on Germany featuring in the playoff still plenty of football to be played for those remaining games to come and if it does stay this way England are in pole position goal difference could be crucial of course Reba. Hey 
There's Cole. Now it's Yaka. Akos. More dependable defending by England. They did look jittery at times in the first half. Certainly on the, the German goal. And they did not defend successfully as a unit. Campbell in particular getting caught out. But they're compact at the moment. And the Germans do seem a little short on ideas. And certainly low on morale. A free header here for Rio Ferdinand. Now Scholes. Back up. Scholes is on his way. He's got Heskey up with him. Emil Heskey. Is this going to be another one? It is. Would you believe it? 5 1 to England. Heskey on the score sheet now. It's the Liverpool connection. Three for Owen. One for Gerard. One for Heskey. And Dream Land for this fella. <laughs> Steve McLaren. His assistant there. What a contrast in emotions. Germany again just sliced apart. The quality of England's counter-attacking here was admirable. Heskey kept his head and slid it beyond the keeper. Seventeen minutes to go. Germany won. England five. Hammer. A memorable, memorable England display. I wonder what those who said England shouldn't have a foreign coach are saying now. McManaman to Owen. He's a hero, but then they all are. Scholes now, who laid on the chance for Heskey. This is Owen. Now Steve McManaman getting in on the act. Heskey had made a dart into the box along with Cole. That was Beckham. Close, going nowhere though, as Beckham takes a tumble, and England play themselves out of trouble, and they're losing confidence now, they're toying with Germany, and really turning on the style in the most emphatic fashion. Beckham. A lot of observers, good judges, said let's not get too carried away when Ericsson came through his first five games with a win. By the same token, let's not get too depressed at the defeat by Holland. And now, well, here's the answer. England are playing some terrific football. And they have shown they have real quality. They are making tremendous strides under Sven Goran Eriksson. Novotny. Rayburn. Now Linke. The Germans looking very despondent and understandably so. Not in their wildest dreams that England have contemplated this margin of win of victory. And they might not have finished yet. But then maybe Germany haven't. That was Janka. Close but not close enough. And I think he's had enough. Sebastian McHale now making his entrance for Germany. And in fact, it's Neville giving way. 
Oh, what on earth? Waller could have said to him there. As he troops dejectedly away. The team in disarray. And just listen to the crowd's reaction. They are not amused by their team's contribution. And Owen Hargreaves, the young man from Bayern Munich, is on for England. Gerard. Oh, what a match he's had. Off the field now, but he has certainly done his bit. McManaman. The feeling is with Gerard, they still have to use him a little sparingly with all the injury problems that he's had. So there's no need for him now to be uh, risked any longer with England in such a commanding position. And that's a caution. For a pretty terrible tackle by uh, Haman. Frustration seeping through now. You don't get this one down too easily in the Liverpool dressing room, I can tell you. The hero of Wembley at the moment in a beaten team. He can afford to sit down, Ericsson. His team are coasting. And how often could you ever say that in a match against Germany? The old enemy. Scholes to Hargreaves. Of course, made his debut against Holland. And didn't really influence the match, playing just the first half. But Ericsson was keen to give him another go, keep him in the senior squad rather than relegate him back to the under 21s. And here he is now, playing against the Germans that he knows so well. Asamoa. That just about sums up. Germany's night at the moment. It's a staggering scoreline. David Beckham, as ever leading from the front. So keen to play tonight. And he will be so relieved he has taken part. And what will go down as an awesome England display. Hargreaves, who's a real little batter, so is Scholes. Dyster was after him. And it will be a free kick to England. Are you Scotland in disguise? I think they're singing. Hard on the Scots who had a battle themselves. Goal this rule with Croatia earlier today. What a result for the Republic of Ireland. They beat Holland by a single goal in Dublin. And now very well placed indeed for the World Cup finals. And England, without question, are back in the hut on the back of this tremendous result. And surely it will be now. Heskey. The glum, disconsolate figure of Rudy Voller. He's had so much praise in recent months for the work that he was doing with the German team. It's all going to pot at the moment. And they'll be back. And of course, just to recap, it is a favourable draw awaiting whichever team finishes second in this group. Belarus or the Ukraine. It could have been harder. Hargreaves. The newcomer on the England scene. A player with rich potential. Beckham, who is certainly realising his. One of the senior statesmen in this team now. McManaman, who's been around for a while without breaking through too often lately. Carsten Janka. Here's the Bayern Munich striker again. A bomber. Beckham still working so hard, still chasing everything. He has set such a fine example. Asamoah now. 
only one German in the box there. Miroslav Klos, and he needn't have bothered. Oh, in the hat trick now to Neville. Offside, Emil Heskey. Just over seven minutes to go. And we're going to see another change. Yeah, it's a tough work out there for Pierre Luigi Colina. Paul Scholes coming off now. And Jamie Carragher will just come on, I think, just to uh, sit in the midfield, keep things tight there. And just make sure that England keep their grip on this game. We're taking too many risks now. There's no need to. Surely, surely the points are in the back. Deisler. It's too long for Carsten Yanka. He just turned away in disgust and disappointment. Michael Owen. They feared him and with every reason. Deisler now breaking for Germany, but not even demanding a save from David Seaman. Been that kind of evening for Germany. They had chances in the first half to increase their lead, or at least regain it anyway after Owen's goal. Certainly there were scares for England, but how they have taken control in this second half. Lifted by Gerard's wonder strike just before the half time whistle. Jens Novotny. England's work rate has been phenomenal. All that application, you can have all the skill in the world, but you have to uh, have the right attitude, and England certainly have that, as epitomised by this man, David Beckham, who has been outstanding. Just seems to have grown in stature, Beckham, under the wing of Ericsson, for whom he has total respect. Linker who clashed with Beckham. Oliver can't do where. Tipped over by Beckham. The whistle's gone, though. It will be a free kick to Germany. Owen, who might well have been the guilty party there. He's got three goals. He wants more. It is great to see him playing like this. That applies to the whole England team. Erickson said, don't read too much into that Holland game and how right he was. Of course, it wasn't the full-strength England side. There were lots of experiments. He's got it right tonight as the England coach. Three for Owen, Heskey and Gerrard. The three Liverpool players who have done the business for England along with their teammates and a truly inspirational performance here's Carragher another of the Liverpool contingent Raymo who has kept going at least Hamann good defending by Campbell played in by Hargreaves for Beckham Here's the skipper again with Gary Neville. I think they're rather buoyant at the moment, England. Linker to Novotny. Nobody have had a pasting here. Raymer. Now McManaman to Young Hargreaves. Beckham hitting that early ball to Emil Heskey. And he was clattered that by Lenker. And improving their goal difference too. That one automatic place could be theirs after all. Who would have thought that?
earlier in this group. Certainly not after Wembley and Germany's win there. That goes Carsten Janka. Carragher, who was the miscreant. Reimer. And they're creating nothing now. The game is up for Germany. Novotny. Here's Yanka. Now Cole. Yanka then followed in on Cole. He didn't appreciate it one little bit. Haman. This is Bormann. Trying to give the Germans some width. That should be David Siemens, comfortably collected indeed by the Arsenal veteran. Back comes Heskey. Asamoa. Now Novotny. This is Hammer. Hargreaves for England with Steve McManaman. <laughs> Albania next at St James's Park in Newcastle on Wednesday. And they can expect quite a reception from the Albanians. England, of course, beat them over there. And in this kind of mood, well, you do fear for the Albanians. If England can play in anything like the same fashion, Albania could be in for a really torrid night. Hargreaves. And you can imagine the kind of welcome that England are going to get when they trot out onto that Newcastle pitch. Ericsson and his England team will be looking forward to it. McManaman and the Germans appear to have thrown in the towel two minutes to be added on very long ones for the fans of Germany many of them trooping away out of the stadium now they've had enough as we go into stoppage time the end of this momentous night for England. He will just want that final whistle to be blown now. What can he say to his team? Hard to imagine. Jakob. They don't suffer defeats like this too often. And certainly not against England. Oliver Kahn beat five times. I think he's just struggling to come to terms with it. Back up for England. On to Carragher. Just strolling through now these. Last few seconds. Emil Heskey has been a real threat up front and has a goal for his reward. Just not giving too much away, Ericsson. Well, the old ticker will be pounding away, I can tell you. He was confident his team could win, but surely not this way. Out by Raymond. Now Novotny. On by Hamann. But it's all over. No, oh, they thought it was all over. Not yet, it certainly isn't in terms of that qualifying place. A wonderful, wonderful, unbelievable result really for England. 5-1 winners in Munich.
and it puts them very much back in contention for that one automatic qualifying place for the World Cup Finals in Japan and Korea next year. Victory over their arch rival Germany on this here historic day, the first time ever Germany have lost at home in a World Cup qualifier. And it means England, who'd actually got behind the Carson Yankers goal, are now just three points behind at the top of the group. They will draw level with the Germans if Albania, as expected, are disposed of in Newcastle on Wednesday night. As David Beckham salutes the cheers of England's travelling support, three goals for Michael Owen, Gerard and Heskey from Liverpool on the score sheet as well.